My name is Sasha Mboya and the title of my sermon is Living a Responsible Life. Before we begin, let us have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day thanking you for your love and kindness. May you be with us and protect us and guide us in Jesus' name I pray. So our key verse comes from the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 29 which says, For to every person who has something, even more will be given to them and they will have more than enough. But those who have nothing, even the little that they have, will be taken away from them. Living a responsible life means being accountable to yourself, to others, and to God. It results from observing role models and developing values, beliefs, and behaviors that guide us every day. Responsibility to self means respecting yourself, maintaining physical, mental, and spiritual health, and loving yourself so that you are able to love others too. While responsibility to others means respecting others, loving others, accepting others for what they are and be willing to help them become better and being a good example to others. Being responsible makes our lives truly com comfortable and enjoyable. As Christians, we need to emulate Christ in all areas of our lives by living responsibly. Please turn to the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 4 which says I will give up whole nations to save your life because you are precious to me and because I love you and give you honor. Self-awareness is knowing and understanding your abilities, weaknesses, strengths, likes and dislikes. Self-worth is a feeling of confidence and value for yourself. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 4 we are told that God gave up everything to save our lives and God loves us so much that even though he is mighty he also honors us. We should know that we are all important before God. As Christians we should have confidence in who we are as we work to improve ourselves through hard work at school and at work. Can you identify your interests? But before I answer that question let us turn to the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10. And it's verse 10 to 11, and it says, Each one as a good manager of God's different gifts must use for the good of others the special gift he has received from God. Whoever preaches must preach God's message. Whoever serves must, must serve with the strength that God gives, so that in all things praise may be given to God through Jesus Christ, to whom belong glory and power forever. Amen. And the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4 to 11 and it says there are different kinds of spiritual gifts but the same spirit gives them there are different ways of serving but the same Lord is served there are different abilities to perform service but the same God gives ability to all of the to all for their particular service the spirit's presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all the spirit gives one person a message full of wisdom while to another person the same spirit gives a message full of knowledge one and the same spirit gives faith to uh, to one person while to another person he gives the power to heal the spirit gives one person the power to work miracles to another the gift of speaking god's message and to yet another the ability to tell the difference between gifts that come from the spirit and those that do not to one person he gives the ability to speak in strange tongues and to another he gives the ability to explain what is said but it is one and the same spirit who does all this as he wishes he gives a different gift to each person let's turn to the book of matthew chapter 25 verse 14 to 30 and it says at that time the kingdom of heaven will be like this once there was a man who was about to go on a journey he called his servants and put them in charge of his property he gave to each one according to his ability to one he gave 5000 coins and to another he gave 2000 and another he gave 1000 then he left on his journey. The servant who had received 5,000 coins went at once and invested his money and earned another 5,000. In the same way, the servant who had received 2,000 coins earned another 2,000. But the one who received 1,000 coins went off, dug a, a hole and hid his master's money. 
After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The servant who had received 5,000 coins came in and had it handed over the other 5,000. You gave me 5,000 coins, sir. He said, look, here are another 5,000 coins that I have earned. Well done, you good and faithful servant, said his master. You have been faithful in managing small amounts, so I will put you in charge of large amounts. Come on in and share my happiness. Then the servant who had been given 2,000 coins came in and said, You gave me 2,000 coins, sir. Look, here are another 2,000 coins that I have earned. Well done, you good and faithful servant, said his master. You have been faithful in managing small amounts, so I will put you in charge of large amounts. Come on in and share my happiness. Then the servant who had received 1,000 coins came in and said, Sir, I know you are a hard man. You reap harvest where you did not sow, and you gather crops where you did not scatter seed. I was afraid, so I went off and hid your money in the ground. Look, here is what belongs to you. You bad and lazy servant, his master said. You knew, did you, that I reap harvest where I did not sow, and gather crops where I did not scatter seed? Well, then you should have deposited my money in the bank and I would have received it all back with interest when I returned. Now take the money away from him and give it to the one who has ten coins. For to every person who has something, even more will be given, and he will have more than enough. But the person who has nothing, even the little that he has, will be taken away from him. As for this useless servant, throw him outside in the darkness. There he will cry and grind his, his teeth. And the last one is from the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 30 to 35. And it says, Moses said to the Israelites, The Lord has chosen Bezalel, the son of Uri and grandson of her, from the tribe of Judah. God has filled him with his power and given him skill, ability, and understanding for every kind of artistic work, for planning skillful designs and working them in gold, silver, and bronze, for cutting jewels to be set, for carving wood, and for every other kind of artistic work. The Lord has given to him and to Oliab, son of Ahisamak from the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach their crafts to others. He has given them skill in all kinds of work done by engravers, designers, and weavers of fine linen, blue, purple, and red wool, and other clothes. They are able to do all kinds of work and are skillful designers. Interest refers to the activities that we enjoy doing when we are free. Ability means the skills and intelligence that enables us to do different things. While a talent refers to our ability to do something well, it is important to note that our interests help us discover our abilities and our talents. As Christians, we should use our gifts for the good of others. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 to 11, the Spirit of God has, dif has given different gifts to different people. All gifts are to be used for the good of others. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are like prophecy, healing, speaking in tongues, interpreting tongues, discernment, faith, performing miracles, wisdom, knowledge, and many more. In, Exodus chap in the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 30 to 35, we are told about Bezalel and Oliab. Bezalel was the son of Uri from the tribe of Dan. Oliab was the son of Ahisamak from the tribe of Bezalel was the son of Uri from the tribe of Judah, while Oliab was the son of Ahisamak from the tribe of Dan. God gave them the ability to do various artistic jobs. They made the sacred tent for the Ark of the Covenant. In the book of Genesis chapter 6 verse 14 to 16, which says, Build a boat for yourselves out of good timber. Make rooms in it and cover it with inside and out. Make it 133 meters long and 133 meters long, 22 meters wide and 13 meters high. Make a roof for the boat and leave a space of 44 meters between the roof and the sides. Build it with three decks and put a door. From there, we, we see that God gave Noah the ability to build an ark. God gave him instructions that will help him successfully build the ark and complete it. In the book of Exodus chapter 
Exodus chapter 7 verse 1 which says the Lord said I am going to make you like God to the king and your brother Aaron will speak to him as your prophet since Moses thought he was a poor speaker God gave him the ability and power and in that way he led the Israelites out of Egypt during their slavery in Genesis chapter 40 verse 8 which says they answered each of us had a dream and there is no one to here to explain what the dreams mean it is God who gives the ability to interpret dreams Joseph said tell me your dreams we see that God gave Joseph the ability to interpret dreams from there there are so many ways in which God has helped us he has given us talents and abilities which we should use to serve him in the story of the three servants, only two of them were faithful. God wants us to take the position of the faithful servants so that when he, when he comes, he will take us to heaven so that we may share his joy. Let's go back to our topic, living a responsible life. In order to live a responsible life, we need some of the traits like honesty, truthfulness, com commitment, love, justice, fairness, obedience, and respect. In the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, which says, But the Spirit produces love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. There is no law against such things as this. In that book, Paul teaches of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. However, there are also unacceptable traits. Some of them are laziness, dishonesty, hatred, and disobedience. How do we accept feelings of self-worth? So self-worth, as we have seen, is a feeling that you are a good person who deserves to be treated with respect. Self-worth enables us to believe that we are capable of doing our best with our talents and the need to lead a good life. In order to promote self-worth, we should accept that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, we should accept that we can be the best. We should eat in a healthy way. We should dress decently. We should read the Bible and we should pray to God. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 4, we are told that we should be assured that we are loved by God. And in this way, our self-worth increases. So once more, we may ask ourselves how we acquire socially responsible behavior. A socially responsible behavior means having a character having the character traits that are acceptable although there are some character traits which one may possess that are not accepted in the book of first peter chapter 2 verse 1 to 5 which says read yourselves then of all evil no more lying or hypocrisy or jealousy or insulting language be like newborn babies always thirsty for the pure spiritual milk so that by drinking it you may grow up and be saved as the scripture says you have found out for yourselves how kind the lord is come to the lord the living stone rejected by people as worthless but chosen by god as valuable come as living stones and let yourselves be used in building the spiritual temple where you will serve as holy priests to all to offer spiritual and acceptable sacrifices to god through jesus christ we are advised not to be liars hypocritical jealous and abusive we should thirst for spiritual milk as newborn babies thirst for milk as Christians, we acquire socially responsible behaviors by loving everyone, respecting young, the young and old, appreciating our neighbors, and being obedient. As we close, we should remember that as Christians, we should have character traits that are accepted in the presence of God. And we should remember to always be responsible, not only to ourselves, but others too. We also need to practice good values. God wants us to use our abilities to serve him and in his service we need to be responsible. As we break let us have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father we come before you this day thanking you for your grace. May you be with us as we live and thank you for the wonderful service in Jesus name I pray. Amen.